Let me show you a quick, simple way to enable iMessage on your iPhone after the latest iOS update. If your text messages are showing up as green bubbles, even when messaging with other iPhone users, that usually means that iMessage has been turned off. You may have disabled it in the past to save data, or it could have been turned off during the recent update on accident. Either way, it's really easy to turn it back on. And with iOS 18, Apple's made some changes to how you can get to these settings. So this is an updated video on a past one I've done on how to find it and turn it back on. To get started, first find and open the settings app. Once inside of here, scroll all the way to the bottom and down here, you're gonna see apps. This is the new section that Apple introduced in iOS 18 that now has most of the options that we used to be able to find just here inside of the main settings menu. Choose this, and then once inside of here, scroll down into the M's, and here in the center, you'll see the option for messages. Choose this, and here you're gonna be able to find all of the different settings for our messages app. I'll scroll down a little bit, and then here in the center, you're gonna see the option for iMessage. If the toggle next to iMessage is gray, that means that it's currently turned off. So if it's gray, go ahead and tap it, it'll turn to green, and this means that iMessage is now enabled. Right below that, tap send and receive to check or adjust the phone number and email addresses that are connected to iMessage. Here you can choose where you wanna be able to send and receive iMessages from. Most people usually just keep their primary phone number and email addresses selected. And remember, for iMessages to work, everyone in the conversation must be using iMessage and must be on an Apple device. If someone you're texting with doesn't have an iPhone or hasn't turned on iMessage, your messages are still gonna go through as standard SMS text messages, and those are gonna appear with the green text bubbles instead of the blue. But once you have this turned on and everything's connected correctly, you can go ahead and close the settings app and you'll be ready to go. And that's how you turn on and select how you use iMessages on your iPhone. Thanks for watching.